now the topic is <coughs> now the topic is surfactants cationic and anionic surfactants used in cosmetics surfactants used in cosmetics cationic surfactant cationic surfactant means it has a positive charge see application of the surfactants application of the surfactant should be depends upon the whatever charge it will have depends upon the what kind of charge it will have see cationic cationic surfactant positive charge it contains positive charge so we can use as a preservative we can use this as a preservative we can use this as a preservative why we are using as a preservative means bacteria cell bacteria cell contains bacteria cell contains negative charge bacteria cell contains negative charged proteins negative charged phospholipids negative charged phospholipids hence yes, this cationic surfactant react with the bacterial surface this cationic surfactant surfactants react with bacterial surfaces then leads to kill the bacteria leads to the kill bacteria leads to the killing of bacteria hence we are using this cationic surfactant as a preservative hence we are using cationic surfactant as a preservative why means bacteria cell having phospholipids that is a negative charge the cation is positive charge there is a interaction between positive and negative charge thereby killing of bacteria next conditioning agent we are using cationic surfactant as a conditioning agent in <coughs> air conditioners we are using this as a conditioning agent in air condition what will happen this is air air consists of negative charges air consists of negative when you will wash the hair the hair is negative charge why negative charge is air contain a protein that protein contain one amino acid that is cysteine cysteine contain sh2 upon washing when you will wash what will happen removal of hydrogen leads to formation of negative charge leads to formation of negative charge so hair hair possess negative charge so now the cation the cation will deposit on the hair now the cation will deposit on the hair due to the electrostatic interaction due to the electrostatic interaction the cation will deposit on the hair leads to leads to the conditioning leads to the conditioning agent this is about uses of cationic surfactant this is about the uses of cationic surfactant in in pharmacy next one is anionic surfactant next one is anionic surfactant anionic surfactant means this is having negative charge this is having negative charge this will stabilize the oil in water and water in oil kind of emulsion this will majorly stabilize water in oil and oil in water kind of emulsion for the stability of emulsion anionic surfactant is very important next for cleaning act for cleaning agent in shampoo air conditioner is different in air conditioner or conditioning agent is cationic surfactant air cleaning agent is anionic surfactant cleaning agent clean the oil or dirt present on the hair so cleaning agent we can use in shampoo conditioning agent we can use in hair conditioner so this anionic surfactant act as a cleaning agent why it is act as a cleaning agent means the anionic surfactant has the property to form to form more leather more leather or foam more number of foam like more number of foam it will forms compared to an cationic and amphoteric surfactant compared to cationic and amphoteric surfactant this anionic surfactant will form more foam more foam form nothing but entrapment of gas in the liquid entrapment of gas in the liquid more of more amount of foam it will form so another one is and the cationic surfactant which is easily soluble in water that is sulfate moieties sulfates are easily soluble in water hence this will form more leather in water when we dissolve in water so what is the disadvantage see both cationic and anionic surfactant are having skin causes skin irritation ionic surfactants causes causes skin irritation 
So the having skin irritation is a disadvantage due to the presence of its skin tissue. So in order to reduce the skin irritation of uh, anionic surfactant by supplying with this anionic surfactant causing skin irritation, then I need to blend both cationic anionic surfactant and amphoteric surfactant. Amphoteric surfactant I need to see skin irritation of anionic surfactant can be reduced by amphoteric surfactant. Cationic sur anionic surfactant it will cause skin irritation. So this skin irritation property can be reduced by adding amphoteric surfactant by adding amphoteric surfactant. So this is importance of amphoteric surfactant. This is about anionic surfactant, cationic surfactant. Next one is amphoteric surfactant. Amphoteric surfactant nothing but this will produce less foam. See just one, two, three foam molecules. Here six to seven foam molecules that will form. Here three, just three. This will form less foam. Hence, this having less foam but no skin irritation property. No skin irritation property. Hence, we can combine the anionic surfactant with amphoteric surfactant. We are combining, we are combining using anionic surfactant and cationic surfactant, uh, amphoteric surfactant. See, due to its less eye irritation, eye irritation property, due to its less eye irritation property, because when we apply shampoo, the shampoo sometimes may come into Come with, uh, come with eye contact. Eye contact. Sometimes it will come under contact with the eye. So, due to because amphoteric surfactant do not cause skin ir eye irritation, do not cause eye irritation. So, used to develop baby shampoo. So, we can use to develop baby shampoo by using a amphoteric surfactant due to it is do not cause eye irritation. Eye irritation property cannot cause by amphoteric surfactant. So this is amphoteric, anionic and cationic surfactants and their use is very very important, very important.